Today I'm going to show you how you can customize these items and create charms with a particular color using PowerPoint. PowerPoint is the program I use for creating digital planners because I think it is the one of the easiest programs out there and it's still very powerful. And, and you see how easy it is to change color of PNG files that you drop inside your presentations. Other programs will not have the same features, but if you are versed in the program you use can be all sorts of programs can change color of PNGs. Um, you can use whatever program you know how to use. I have the tutorial here for PowerPoint because this is the program I know and use to make these changes. If you don't have PowerPoint and you are not sure how you can change uh, the color of these files using the program you use, then I suggest you try and change these colors using Google Slides, which is free. And although it's not as powerful as PowerPoint, you still find some options in the formatting tab. But today it's all about PowerPoint and I will show you all the hacks that I have here. So to get started, you, you need a blank PowerPoint presentation like this, and we are going to check out the elements inside the folder. So this is the bundle with all the elements, including all the colors here. Um, you don't have to, to try and change the color of these ones. They are done for you, and you can just, if you find the color, if you like the color, you just drag and drop these elements and you'll be done. The, customization comes to when you want more colors than what is available. So to start with, we will drag and drop to the PowerPoint presentation, the base colors. The base colors are just the metal. And you see I have the first fold is just for metal colors and you find all the shapes without any decoration inside. And I have all the 14 shapes here. And as you can see, the rainbow I have two just because this is filled, the plate, the golden plate is, the rainbow is completely filled up and here is just the outline. For all the other items, you can use the plate as it is and the decoration will go on top. But for the rainbow, I gave you this extra uh, PNG file because we can make three different color arches and use the outline here on top to create the same effect. I'll show you exactly how, what I mean in a minute, but just know that for both um, files, we have uh, two types of rainbows here. So let's get started. We are going to drop the elements in PowerPoint. We are going to adjust the size to whatever suit us, and then we are changing the colors. Okay, so let's start with the clasps. We just I'm just gonna start with the gold. I'm gonna show you how to do with the gold, but it's the same way for the silver one. So I drop the clasps, depending on how I want uh, it to look, it could be closed like this or open. So that's why the elements are separate, but I'm gonna put this one at the bottom. So it's behind and I'm going to drag and drop everything. I'm going to make it smaller by pressing shift and dragging it to the corner like this. I press shift so it wouldn't lose the proportion. Now I'm going to drag and drop the chain. I'm going to use this chain for this, um, for this example, and I'm going to make it smaller and add here at the bottom. So I'm just building up the charm by dragging and dropping the elements here. Next, I'm going to drag and drop the, the charm itself. So I'm going to create one with hearts and one with the rainbow because it's a little bit different than the other elements and I want you to show you how you can do it. I'm going to um, select both of them and make them smaller. At this point, I'm just going to leave them like this. I can later on move them to the right place. But I really want you to see how they work. And now for the last piece, we're gonna come here in this bonus. We are not gonna use the colors that I already give you here. These are done for you. You don't have to worry about them. Let's go to the bonus 
and I'm going to use one of them, but it will work in the same way for all the effects. So let's create the rainbow with gems. As you can see here, I also have different files for the rainbow. In this number 14 is if you want the rainbow to have only one color. So you can use this one and the, all the three arches of the rainbow will have the same color. But if you want to have different colors for each arch, you have to use the separate elements here. And let's do that so I can show you how this works. I'm going to drop all of them, the three of them in. Well, let me select them, the three of them first. Now I'm going to align them to the bottom. So now they are all aligned to the bottom. I know they are centralized. And I will press Control G to group them. Now they are just one file. And I'll make them small. Like this. And now it is a little bit of a puzzle because I have to make sure they align. I'm going to send this one to the bottom. And now I'm going to align them to make sure that it fits the, the rainbow outline. Something like this. Once we change color, we can see that uh, if it's centralized. But now they are in place, I can move around here. So let's carry on with the heart now. I'm going to use another um, effect. For the heart, I will use uh, the glitter effect. And I'll do the same. I'll make it smaller and bring it on top of the heart. And I will increase the size a little bit to make sure it fits the, the plate, the golden plate. So it, it looks realistic. It's a little over here. Like that. Okay, so here now I have the, the elements for my, cha my charm. All right, now we're going to change the color of all these elements. So to change the color, what you have to do in PowerPoint is to select the item. This is the glitter effect of the heart. I'm going to select it. I'm going to go to format. And you can see here I have this color effect. I also have this correction effect that sometimes can give a nice effect on the PNG. And also the artistic effect depending on what you want to do. But in this case, I only want to change the color. So I'm going to click on this. And so here in the color tab, you can see that PowerPoint already gives me some pre-made um, colors. And these colors are determined by your theme. I'll tell you how to change it in a minute. But you can pick up from these colors here, or you can choose more variations and change to all sorts of colors here. So whatever you choose, and if you move your mouse around like this, you can have a preview of how it's going to look. For the charms effect, I really like this bottom accent here because what it does, it changes all the dark colors to whatever color you, you like. This one in the middle, it changes, it kind of gives an overlay of the color on top of everything. I'm gonna use one of them. I'm gonna get, for instance, this blue one. And now, if you'd like these colors here that appear here to be different, you have to change the color of the theme. And you do that by going here and the tab view, then slide master, and then you are gonna click on colors, and here are the colors of these are the colors for this presentation. But I can change to whatever custom color I want from here, for instance, or Microsoft gives you all these other elements here. I'm going to change to this rainbow color here, and then I'm going to press close master view. And as you can see, the color already automatically changed. So let's say I really want this nice bright blue here. Once I'm done with this, I can just drag and drop it around, move them here, and my charm will be ready. 
But now let's edit the rainbow because there are three layers here that we're going to change the color and we're going to do the exact same. For now, I'm going to just, I press in my selection here, I just took the outline away so I, I see what I'm doing. And with this one, I'm going to press Control Shift G to ungroup them so each of them are separate from each other. I'm going to pick up the first layer, is the outer layer, and I'm going to change by tapping Format, Color, and I don't know, let's say we want to change to pink. Then I'm going to go to the second layer, go again in Format, Color, and change to yellow. And then the third and last layer, I'm going to go Format, Color, and change, let's say, green. So now all of the layers are in different color. I can group them again by selecting everything and pressing Ctrl G. I'm going to turn on this outline, as you can see, and it's all done. I can also select everything together and press Ctrl G again. And then I move it in place. And then my charm, my customized charm is done. The last thing I want to show you just before we move on to the metal part, let me go back here and show you some of this color. Let me open this one, the solid color you, you'll be able to see fine. You can see these ready for you items that I created here. They have this inner shadow that I created to give a more realistic look to the element. In the customized elements, I haven't added the shadow because when you change the color of the element, this shadow wouldn't be black. It would be changed to the color that you just used. So in this case, the shadow would be this bright blue and he, all the shadow would be pink and he would be yellow and green. And I didn't want that. I didn't want you to have that because it doesn't look realistic when the shadow is other color than gray or black, right? But the good news is that you can actually add this shadow as well once you've changed the color inside PowerPoint. To do so, you will select the element you want to add in a shadow to, go to the Format tabs again, and then you press Picture Effect. And you see you have a bunch of effects here, but the ones we care about is shadow, and more specifically, the inner shadow. And I'm going to get this top right shadow here, and you see it gives a very similar shadow to this one I already have here. And now that it's done, I can finally select everything together, press Ctrl G, and my charm is ready. When your charm is ready and you want to export it as a PNG, you just have to put in place like this. And then you're going to select everything of the charm. You're going to right click on it and you can export this as picture. When you save as picture, you save as a PNG file and it will have a transparent background. Then you can drag and drop it to your digital planner and create a digital planner file with the um, charm already in it. Okay. And now the last thing <laughs> I want to show you, this is really the last thing is that you can actually change the color of the metal in the same way that you changed the effect color here. All right. So let's uh, change the clasp. You're going to go to format and color. And in the same way, if you go to here, you can change the color to whatever you like. Say I really like this blue and the metal. I'm going to do the same change to this blue and, and I'm going to grab the heart, the outside heart and also change to blue. And here you have a totally blue charm. Then you can press Ctrl G and export it as a picture. All right. And this is everything you can do. So with all the elements you have inside here, you can literally create thousands of different uh, charms, whatever, if you like creating or using whatever color that um, 
you need to use to to match your digital planner or your digital style. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can always email me and I'll try my best to help you with other programs as well if you have any questions.